Hey, look. There's one they never took to pieces. Good catch. Shit. Locked. Still might be gas in the tank, though. locked all right here goes nothing <laughs> fuck yeah <laughs> look at all that fuel this is gonna take a while Looks like it came from in there. Gabe, stay close. Ransacked a long time ago. Might be able to get in through the hatch. <laughs> Looks pretty run down. Locked. <clears throat> Not gonna be able to pry this open. Damn it. Gabe, come check this out. Not the cleanest place. Oh, no muertos, at least. Just be careful. Looks pretty comfortable. And pretty gross. Are you kidding me? Lucky for you, they put enough preservatives in this stuff to last for centuries. Well, there's enough food in here to keep us going for a long time. Oh, check it out. This is actual, honest-to-God, pudding! Seriously? And it's not just food. There's a mattress. There's blankets. Someone else's mattress. Someone else's blankets. We need to just take our gas and get on the road. This place does have a funny feeling about it. 
And if Muertos were to somehow surround us... Great. Now I'm officially creeped out. Come on, one night. We bunk down, eat a real meal. It would be nice not to sleep in the van for a change. Please. The herd is coming, if it's not here already. We should go and get ahead of it, before it's too late. The fence is reinforced. We'll be fine. We found this. Why can't we just enjoy it? We're gonna get what we came for and get out of here. Great. Another shitty cramp night in our shitty cramp van. Hooray. Come on. Let's at least grab the food. Thanks for that. Backing me up and all. How does it feel to be the bad guy this time? It must be a new sensation for you. Uh, it sucks. Let's go back to the way things were. You know, back when I was the fun one. Hard pass. You're the grown-up now. Hey, Kate. Can you come help us with this? Hey, uh, wait, but you... This way you can make up for being the bad guy. Thanks. Grab some gas. We need to head out soon. What the fuck do you think you're doing with our gas? Go on, speak up! Whoa, whoa, look, the, the gas is all there. You just keep it. Yeah, I'm thinking it's a little too late for that. You ain't the loner type. I can tell. I know you got people. No, uh -uh, I'm alone. Honestly, people just slow me down. Uh-huh. All alone. Yeah, sure you are. Fan out and look for the others. Lonnie, you're with me. Hey! You assholes in there! I got your boy! You don't want him getting shot, you best come out there careful with your hands up! Go on, you first. You get ambushed by your own people, that shit's gonna make my day. Open it real slowly. Don't fuck around with me, boy. these are all open. You can't just take what you like. I ate all those. Yeah, me. You? By yourself? Now, yeah, what can I say? I fucking love pudding. You got a real smart mouth. You fucking watch what you say. Look, I, I, I get it, all right? You're starving. Who the fuck is it? At the end of your rope, thought you hit pay dirt. Honest mistake. But I got this sneaky fucking feeling <clears throat> that you're full of shit. I ain't gonna let it be like the last time some assholes rolled on us. Keep an eye on this dickhead. I'm gonna grab some cuffs. You got it. Just chill, okay? No need to make this any harder. Look, your buddy's not thinking straight. So let's talk, okay? You and me, we can get this sorted out. No, it's his call. Look, man, this doesn't have to go. What the fuck was that noise? What you got hiding under there, boy? If 
you know something, you better spill it. You don't want me finding out for myself. Hey, if you're so curious, open it and find out. No, really. Go ahead. Do it. Oh, fuck it. Hey, my family, where are they? What did you do with my family? Answer me! Just do us both a favor and pretend you're still asleep. I wouldn't start talking if I were you. You're lucky we do things a certain way. I'm already tempted to put a bullet in your brain for what you did to Lonnie back then. If we start talking, I'm gonna get angry. What happened to him was an accident. Yeah, right. Keep talking, we might find ourselves in a similar accident. You get what I'm saying? Please, you have to believe me. We were just... Not another word, or God help me, I'll put you to sleep myself. We still got a haul ahead of us, and I'm not about to listen to you. What the hell? Stop! Stop! Oh, shit! No, no, no! Good. Just keep looking forward. Please. I just... I need help. Well, that's obvious. The way your friend there ran off, I don't think he's likely to come back and save you. Okay. Now don't do anything stupid. Because I'm not as nice as you. I won't hesitate. You're a kid. Whoa, wait, did you do that? With the tree? I was trying to stop the truck. Well, you almost crushed me in the process. Tree fell slower than I thought it would. Put your hands up and close your eyes. Look, I'm the victim here. We're all victims. Oh, so it's okay for you to rob me? This is payment for saving you. Hey, that's for my niece. She loves chocolate more than anything. I promised it to her. Please. Keep your eyes closed and count to a hundred before you go. Wait, just... My family. I need to get back to them. We were attacked and I don't... Look, I just need to know where I am. We were driving down the 522 and that's when we found the junkyard. They're still there. I need to get back to them. 
I know where that is. You said you were driving? In our van, yeah. I'll take you to the junkyard, if you let me have your van. I get you there in one piece, then I drive away. Yeah, absolutely. You got a deal. Good. Let's go. This really necessary? I don't know you, I don't trust you, and I'm not taking any chances. So it's safer for both of us if you're tied up. Hey, that's fine with me. I don't trust you either. Glad we understand each other. The name's Javier, by the way. People call me Javi. Clementine. Now well, it's nice to meet you, Clementine. If you say so. You don't want to talk? Fine. But how about you give me that gun back so I can at least defend myself? For all I'd know, you'd turn around and use it on me. If you give me a weapon, we can protect each other. I give you a weapon, I can't take my eyes off you. At least this way I know what I'm up against. Muertos. The herd caught up with us. Muertos. What do you call them? Walkers. Well, what do you call the ones that run? They're all fucking walkers, okay? Look, I'm just... I'm not used to being around other people. Not for a while, anyway. Usually, it's just me on my own. Sounds kind of lonely, if you ask me. Well, I didn't ask you. And, anyway, I prefer it like that. So, who's at this junkyard? My brother's kids. And his wife. It's impressive, surviving this long. Not sure how you did it. Just keeping everyone together like that. Gabe and Mariana are tough kids. They learned how to survive on their own. You seem to know a thing or two about that. Yeah. Well, how about you? You must have been pretty young when this shit started. I was. But some people looked out for me, too. What happened to them? Same thing that happens to everyone. Shit. We can't stay here. There's a town up ahead. We can stay there until the herd passes. Otherwise, we're walker food. Fine. Whatever you say. Thank you. Don't make me regret this. Come on!
Francine, one of these days, those doors are gonna close, and your ass will be on the other side. <laughs> yeah, and when that day comes, Trip, I promise I'll eat you first. It's Clementine, right? You staying a while this time? No. Once the walkers pass, I'm taking this guy to a junkyard off the highway. My family might be trapped there, hiding from some very bad dudes. Well, shit. I'm truly sorry to hear that. This herd rolled in pretty quick. We're hoping it's gone just as fast. So, just keep your heads down and steer clear of trouble. You got me? There's too much going on outside the walls tonight. I don't start trouble. I finish it. Okay, Captain Big Nuts, we get it. But I catch wind of you finishing anything while you're in town, and you're finished. Now piss off. I got shit to do. Jesus. Tell me about it. Well, welcome to Prescott. It's a pretty cool place, actually. Built from an old airstrip, I guess. The people, on the other hand, they're not my favorite. Usually, I'm in and out as quick as I can manage. Hey, what's the problem? You have some sort of history here that I should know about? Not really. I just... I know what people are capable of. Hey, Javi. What's... what's up? My family... They're still out there. If you guys made it this long, I I'm sure, you know, they'll know what to do. Hopefully. Let's go. This way. I gotta see a guy about some bullets. place like this since, well, you know, it's just like the old days. Listen, I gotta take care of something. Hang tight. Well, wait, wait. What should I do? I don't know. Why don't you make some friends? your hand. You're gonna lose, but you don't have to do it in slow motion. Don't try and rush me. <laughs> I know your game. This is my game. Clearly. Always a smart ass. Well, it ain't gonna work. Excuse me. Oh, you again. <laughs> you got some moves. I'll give you that. Hold on a minute. Don't I note you from somewhere? I don't know. Maybe. Garcia. Javier Garcia. For what it's worth, I think you got screwed on the gambling thing. A lifetime ban. Shit. Should've had a 20-year career. The way I see it, nothing wrong with betting on yourself to win. Honestly, I don't even think about it anymore. The past is the past. Hm. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, I'm Conrad. This here's Francine. He runs the place? I just take his money. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I'm just letting you win. Oh, actually, if you're the gambling type, game's poker. Five card stud. I'll raise you. What do you think? Should I call or should I fold? Hmm, don't get too intimidated. 
I lose more often than I care to admit. I don't really gamble anymore. Went all in on the wrong hand once. <laughs> it's okay, hon. I got this one. Raise. Moment of truth. Flip them. Oh my. Ain't that a pretty sight. Oh, hell yeah! Nice. Oh, calm down, both of you. Bottoms up. Wow, man, this smells like turpentine. <laughs> That's the weak stuff. Don't turn away from me. I'm talking to you. Oh, shit. Hey, what's the point in talking when I already told you a deal is a deal? And it's done. What's going on? This guy ripped me off. I traded him a crate of perfectly good batteries, and he gave me a box of bullets that won't fire. He could have gotten both of us killed. Oh, yeah? And yeah, who the fuck are you, a bodyguard or something? Because I don't scare easy, all right? And I don't respond to threats, neither. Damn right. So you better figure out a way to fix this. And I mean real fast. Uh, well, you can't even prove those are the bullets I traded you. Oh, hey, Clem, come on. He knows the bullets don't work. Listen to him. He's not even nervous. I could have died because of his bullets. Unfucking believable. Look out! Hey, listen. Let's all cool down, huh? You were acting crazy. I was too. We just got a little out of hand. That's all. Just give me what I'm owed. Jesus. You've got to get her under control, man. This ain't no way to do business. Boy, you have it wrong, buddy. I don't control her. Which looks like bad news for you. We had a deal. All right, hey, okay, all right, so, hey, we'll, we'll trade back. I'll find some batteries. I don't need batteries. What I need are bullets that won't get me killed. Oh. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Drop the gun! Right now! Say he attacked you and that he was going for his gun. <laughs>